send it over to Chris Burton, who's been out and about in the rain. Chris, is it raining out there? Are we getting that break that I was talking about? And how are the winds? Well, Kevin, yeah, I've been able to take my hood off here. It's uh, it's lightened up, but like you were saying, uh, we don't expect that to continue. There's some patchy clouds overhead, but I can already see some rain maybe on the way in a few minutes here. But we're talking about the pavement today because there is water on the ground, and that's what's going to be an issue for drivers all around Kern County, especially like you say, like you were saying, if you're headed over up the grapevine. Uh, the Caltrans has already issued a uh, a be on the lookout for road closures over the grapevine for yesterday and today. So um, if you're headed over the grapevine, be on the look for that. And experts urge dr drivers just in general to uh, slow down and keep their eyes open today. You never want to be out there driving in wet weather if you're drowsy, if you're distracted, or even if you're upset about something. Your number one focus needs to be on the road ahead and getting to and from your destination safely. We've seen flooding from, flooding from heavy rains as recently as a few weeks ago here in Kern County. Shoup says never drive over a flooded area as there's no way to tell what hazards might lie beneath that water. And for those on foot, Southern California Edison warns that it doesn't take much running water, really only less than a foot to knock a person down. So whether you're in a car or on the road or on foot today, make sure you are keeping your wits about you and watching out for those flooded areas. Well, We'll have much more on the storm later today. For now, live in Bakersfield, Chris Burton, 17 News.